Hello everyone, I'm Malin. Welcome back to the Grammar Lesson. Today we are going to look at another type of adjective, proper adjective. Okay, from my earlier lessons, I mentioned about many type of adjectives. If you haven't watched them, you can visit my channel and you can those type of adjective that I demonstrated earlier. Now we are going to learn about another new type of adjective, proper adjective. Okay, let's begin. Now we exactly know what is an adjective. Adjectives are words that we use to modify or describe noun or pronoun in the sentence like all adjective this proper adjective also we use to modify or describe noun or pronoun in the sentence as well as they always stand directly before noun to modify them but remember this proper adjective is a specific type of adjective because they formed from proper noun okay everyone to identify this proper adjective actually we need knowledge about what is this proper noun I have already mentioned about proper nouns from my noun lessons. However, remember, all nouns we can divide it into two groups. These are common noun and proper noun. Common noun we use in general. But proper noun we use to talk about a specific person, place or thing. So proper adjective are formed by using this proper noun. Okay, proper adjective typically look like their original proper noun but have some sort of alternative ending in order to make them adjective. Okay, everyone, let's look at some example to identify proper adjective. Look at this example. I live in America. The 4th of July is an American holiday. I was born in Italy. I love Italian food. Mahatma Gandhi was a famous leader. Many young leaders follow Gandhian philosophy. Okay, look at the first example. I live in America. Here word America act as a proper noun because it is used to talk about a specific country, America. Okay, look at the second example. The 4th of July is an American holiday. How about word American? Here word American act as a proper adjective because of it stand directly before noun holiday to modify it and also it formed from proper noun America by using suffix a in okay let's go through the next example I was born in Italy he also Italy act as a proper noun move with next one I love Italian food here Italian act as a proper adjective because it stand directly before noun food to modify it and also it formed from proper noun Italy okay go through the next one Mahatma Gandhi was a famous leader here also Mahatma Gandhi is proper noun because we use it to refer to a specific person okay go through the last example Many young leaders follow Gandhian philosophy. Here Gandhian act as a proper adjective because it stand directly before noun philosophy to modify it and also it formed from proper noun Mahatma Gandhi. Okay everyone, when you look at this whole example it's clear this proper adjective always stand before noun to modify them and also they formed from proper now okay everyone let's look at how to form proper adjective from proper noun we use suffix end of proper noun to make proper adjective for example we use suffix i a n e a n o a n to make proper adjective from proper noun for example italian korean american these words act as a proper adjective and also they formed from proper noun Italy, Korea and America by using suffix I A N E A N O A N and also we can use suffix E S E to make proper adjective from proper noun for example Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese as well as we can use suffix I N O I S H to make proper adjective from proper noun for example Pakistani, Spanish. Okay, everyone. 
Here I mentioned about a very common suffix that we use to make proper adjective from proper noun. But remember there are so many suffix we use to make a proper adjective from proper noun. But these are the very common suffix that we use to make proper adjective from proper noun. Okay everyone, another very important thing you should remember this proper adjective should be capitalized. Whatever place they appear in the sentence, we should capitalize them. Okay, everyone, in this lesson I mentioned about what is a proper adjective. I hope that you learned something about proper adjective. Thank you for watching my video. See you soon with another grammar lesson. Bye-bye.